All right, so in this example, we're going to look at running a principal component analysis on an image to get back uncorrelated uh, bands. Okay, so again, we're back here with our Zurich image, and uh, what we want to do now is just run another uh, process on it. Okay, so the principal component analysis can be fun found under Spatial Analyst, and then under Multivariate, and then we have principal components. Okay, so let's click on that and see what our options are. So the input bands, I'm just going to feed it in this uh, clipped image. And then it's going to create an output. So we're going to call this uh, PCA. We'll just call it Zurich PCA dot IMG. And the number of principal components you get can be up to the number of bands. So we have 10 bands, so we'll just leave it at 10. And then this output data file will be some metadata about the output. So I'm going to just call that, um, I think it's a text file. So let's call it PCA meta dot text. I think it's a dot text. Okay, so let's run this and See what happens. Okay, cool. So there's our output. That's our PCA stack. Um, it's kind of odd looking. Um, so let's actually kind of see what this is. So first off, I'm going to go into the data folder where I wrote to. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm mean, if I double click on PCA, I can pull in the bands. Let's just pull in the first three. There we go. So that's your, um, oh, let me go down to the first one here. So that's your first principal component. This is the second, and that's the third. So that's the, that's the data. It looks like the third is doing a, like, kind of highlighting edges and stuff a bit, just looking at it. Okay, so let's actually look at the metadata now. So I'm gonna go back into that folder where I've been storing stuff, and somewhere in here, there should be a metadata file. Oh, here we go. So PCA meta dot text. So I'm going to open this up. It should open up in plain text editor or something. So here it opened up in Notepad. All right. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So first off, this um, this graph explains the percent of variance captured by each of the original image bands that are captured in each of the principal components. So as you can see here, this is 82.9% um, of, the, of the information got captured in that first principal component. The second one was 13.98%. Cumulatively, you're up to 96.9% of the variance explained just in two bands. And then, and then we have our third, which is 1.5%, and you're up to 98 point some percent variance explained. And by the time you're at four principal components, you've effectively explained 99.4% of the variance in the data. So uh, this is a way that we could reduce our 10 input bands into, say, maybe four bands that are not correlated and capture the vast majority of the information in the data, assuming that variance basically means information. Okay, and then what we have here, uh, this correlation matrix, covariance matrix, explain the relationships between the different bands. Um, these eigenvalues have to do with the amount of variance explained. As you can see, the first ones are much higher and the decrease as you go down. And then the eigenvectors are what you actually use to get the principal component bands from the raw data. So in order to calculate the first principal component, you would basically take band 1 and multiply it by this, band 2, then add then add band 2 multiplied by this, add band 3 multiplied by that, so on and so forth. So this effectively shows you how to map to your principal components from your um, raw input bands.